there's a saying called Jo Mange Thakur Apne Se Soi Soi Deva. You go there and pray for yourself and also the well-being of others. Whatever you have, whatever you can share with other people and uh, be there for them. So it, it's also not making everything for yourself. It's also sharing with others. I'm proud to, very proud to be a Sikh and uh, follow some of the teachings uh, our gurus gave it to us. Meet Perminder Chohan, a managing director with the Desjardins Financial Security Independent Network, an entrepreneur, a leader, and a man who cares about his family and community. There are 600 people's families uh, depending on what I do every day. So I keep that focus in my mind because uh, those people are connected to me very closely. I wanted to be remembered who I was, who the person I am, not how much money do I make and how many things I own and what kind of luxury items I have. Because I've seen my father when I was growing uh, in my childhood, uh, anybody will come to ask for help. And my father always wanted to be there for them. He said, if you're there for others, others are gonna be there for you when you need them. And uh, somehow that became my DNA. Perminder Chohan grew up in a small village in India, and as a young man, dreamed of one day traveling abroad, and with it, a better life. While I was living in India, I was always have like a, uh, some weird, wild dreams about the abroad, foreign countries, because I always could see the possibility how I can change my life going abroad. So that's why always I was crazy to come to Canada. <laughs> and I got engaged and uh, migrated to Canada. Perminder wanted to change his life and make more money so that he could give more to his family and his community than he ever could before. At least that was his dream. And along the way, it didn't always look like he would get to where he wanted to be. My first challenge in Canada was the language. Uh, when I came to Canada, migrated here, I couldn't speak the language. I could read and write English, but I couldn't speak uh, proper English. So anywhere I was going, and they were asking for experience and uh, the language and everything, I did not have that. So it was a huge struggle for me to even finding a job in Canada. I was a very shy person. I was not even used to go to anybody to talk about anything. Yeah. So that changed uh, after I came to Canada. I was so hesitant to go to people for asking for anything. I cannot, un I never used to ask for help or if somebody even owes me money, I cannot go and ask them for money. And I told myself that if I wanted to be successful in Canada, everything's gonna start from me. So if I need to learn the language, I, it needs to start from me. So then later on, uh, everything changed. I started to go to successful people and ask them questions, uh, how they became who they are today. Perminder began his journey as a machine operator in Delta, but he was laid off shortly after. He then became a plumber and soon after owned his own plumbing company. This did not last though, as he worked long hours and did not get paid on time. He then invested in several cell phone stores to later sell them for a direct sales opportunity that ended in bankruptcy only six months later. All throughout these challenges, he kept to his belief that change begins with him and that no matter what happens, he should be there for others. So I had to take a year off from my work. I couldn't work for one year because a lot of people placed order because of me and uh, bought products and so many things. So I took one year off to deal with the refunds and all the money uh, back from the credit card companies and stuff. Because to me, my reputation is everything. If I lose that, 
then I won't be able to stand up again and uh, do good in my life. But in 1998, uh, my life took another twist. One of my friends uh, migrated from India and him and his wife. One day we are having uh, dinner at his place and his wife asked me if I could uh, give her a ride to a job interview. So I said, no problem. So next day I took her for a job interview. The person who was interviewing her, so he asked me to come inside and uh, sit in the boardroom. So I asked him, you are interviewing her, what I need to do in the boardroom? So he said, no, no, you come and uh, sit with us. And uh, So he started explaining about uh, RESP plan for kids. So a lot of people from sales approached me to buy RESP plan for my daughter. So I had more knowledge than her. So I started to ask different questions. So this guy convinced me because he handled all my objections so well. So he kind of encouraged me to join that company. I'm here today managing the team of over 600 people. Minder is now able to give back to his family and community with more than just his time, but share the resources and wisdom he has gained on the journey. Put yourself in their shoes. If that person is one of your family members and they are buying the product, what would you sell it to them? Because you will sell the best product available in the market to your family members. Through community events and his foundation, Perminder helps raise awareness and fund over 36 charities in three different countries. So the advice I want to give to newcomers is this, that if you're ready to take the first step, then you can make anything happen in life. Everything is possible in Canada, so there's so many people available to guide you, and if they need me, I'm there to help them. So I coach and mentor a lot of people one-on-one, -on -one. Uh, any way I can make a difference in their life. You can check out Perminder Chohan's website to learn more about his foundation and how you can be the change in your life and community. Thank you so much for watching. Show your support for change by clicking the like button and sharing the story. And don't forget to check out our amazing team. Thank you so much to everyone that helped out on this project. You can become a change maker too by partnering with us. Learn more about how you can become a sponsor on our website.